Hello everyone, this is Harry from Marius Communication. Here I am with Samsung SS5830. In this video, I want to show you how you can flush a custom ROM into this phone. As you see, this is ZT S5830. If you have this one or ZT S5830L, but if you have S at the ending or another thing, some another model it will not work for you I want to show you the version of this ROM as you see the Android version is 4.2.1 this is Jelly Bean working smoothly fast and working everything from camera to GPS Bluetooth Wi-Fi for this what we need to do the phone should be rooted if your phone is not rooted check my video how you can root and how you can install a system recovery at your phone and for flush custom rom we need some file here is is jb.2s okay that is jelly bean 4.2 something as this for s5 at 30 okay and i copy it and i put it at the sd card of this phone check the description of the video there I put the link where you can download this zip file. But what you need to do, you have to close your phone. Power off. Better is connect to the power connector because if the battery is low, it could be dangerous. I have to hold the home button and the power button at the same time. until it's not boot okay I'm at the system recovery mode if your phone is rooted you will see all this option if your phone is not rooted you will not see all this you will see few less I have some video to root the phone and install system recovery if you are in this and then you are ready for flashing a custom room okay whatever uh, before flashing a custom ROM I have to do some wipe and formatting the first one I have to go third option that is wipe data factory reset by the volume rocker button I can go down and with the power button I can select and here is delete all user data you see wiping data formatting data data wipe complete and it's bring me the main menu again the second wipe it will be wipe catch partition as you see here I am wipe catch partition I click home button and I will wipe catch partition now wipe catch is done after doing this I have to go at that bottom second from the bottom is advanced I have to go inside and I have to click wipe delvic catch is done okay what I have to do I click back button for come to the previous menu and here now I have to go install from zip okay install zip from SD card again choose zip from SD card and I have to search where I put that zip folder or file for install that custom ROM especially here as you see that that file here I have JB 4.2 S S5 at 300 only ROM dot zip by the volume rocker button I select and with the home button I will click for install okay now it asks me the permission yes install I will click home button for install and leave the phone as this for few minutes don't be panic it could take little time At the back you see the percentage some box when it will be full okay as you see install from SD card complete that means 
you are successfully flashed the ROM but before reboot your phone you have to do few more white catching okay as I did before the same wipe data factory reset again one more time delete all user data fine after that again wipe cache partition you have to do one by one as I'm doing don't do any mistake okay after that advance wipe delvic cache all is done now at the top you see reboot recovery okay I don't need to do that I, I click the back button for come at the main menu here is reboot system now click home button for rebooting the system for the first time as you see this comes samson www.samson.com and you will see something new okay as you see now I am at the welcome menu of Android 4.2 okay this phone is not mine is of my client so he's a Spanish speaker I will put in this Spanish Espanol and I will click start okay he's checking the Wi-Fi okay here is my Wi-Fi and established connection I will not connect with the Google I will go to next 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 okay the name I have to put something Luis and XY XY siguiente next okay here we are okay as you see here is coming something personalize your desktop menu and application and all that I click accept and as you see the jelly bean at my phone okay the application drawer accept fine I will open the camera and I will take some snap okay of my laptop is working fine I could connect at the internet for show you awesome mm. now let me show you the Android version as you see the Android version is 4.2.1 Jelly Bean all is perfect this is a perfectly working custom ROM you could try this and you will not have any problem if you have any problem leave me as a comment I will try to answer you as much as fast as possible thank you so much for watching this video if you like this video please do subscribe and click like okay and as always for more information go to the iris communication www.iriscommunication.com good night ciao